Hello guys, it's Kristen here, and I'm going to do my daily devotional. Um, you're going to probably see a few of these in my bedroom with the light on, because it's dark. It's actually like almost 10 o'clock at night, but I'm trying to get a few, my aunt is in from North Carolina, so I'm trying to get as much of my videos uploaded and ready to go. That way I don't have to, I can get them uploaded tomorrow morning, first thing, and they're there, and I can go about my day. So. I'm going to be using Jesus Calling for kids again, um, as I told you in my video from actually earlier today. This is on Amazon.com, anywhere from, I think it's about $10, brand new. Um, the hardcover is like, or that's the Kindle edition. The hardback's probably, I think it's like $6.99, around $7. And then you can also get it as low as $2.99 used. So check them out. Um, today is September 2nd. And the title for today is An Adventure With Me, and it's taken from John 14, 20, which reads, On that day you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Living your life while depending on me is a great adventure. Most people, grown-ups and kids alike, scurry around trying to do things their own way. Some are huge successes, and others fail miserably. But both miss out on what life is supposed to be, an adventure with me. When you give control of your life to me, I open up your eyes so that you can see me at work in the world. Where others see coincidences, you see my wonderful work, even miracles at times. And where others only see an everyday happening, you see me. Live each day just watching for what I will do next. You are in me and I am in you. And through me, you learn to truly live. This is the amazing venture, adventure I offer you. And it tells you to read 2 Corinthians 12. So I do have my New King James right here. I'm going to read that real quick. Oops, maybe. 12, 9 through 10, which reads, And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I would rather boast in my infirmities than the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in the infirmities, in reproaches, in need, in persecutions, in distress, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. I have become a fool in boasting. You have compelled me, for I ought to have been com commanded by you. For in nothing was I behind the most eminent apostles, though I am nothing. Truly the signs of an apostle were accomplished among you with their all pres perseverance in signs and wonders and mighty needs. And I just read two more verses that you didn't need to hear. But anyway, then it tells you to read Acts 17. I should have had these already, but that's all right. Verse 28, which reads, For in him we live and move and have our being, as also some of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. And then Colossians for, uh, chapter 2, verses 6 and 7, which reads, Christ, or, <laughs> pardon me, as you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, you know, I love that verse. Um, from John 14 on that day you'll realize that I am in my father and you are in me and I am in you and in the word out of that story the word that popped out to me was coincidences and if you look up the word coincidence in Hebraic or Greek you will not find a translation for the word because there is no such word in that those languages. And I think that's a pretty potent idea to think that there is no coincidence. Things don't just happen because. There's a reason why things happen, good and bad. And, you know, um, for instance, there was a, a pretty bad accident, probably about maybe eight or nine miles away from here. Um, I have a friend that runs with a fire company, the local fire company. I have another one who runs with um, the one next next town over. I have another friend who runs with like three or four different ones. So when I hear the sirens go off, I instantly get on the um, 911 blotter and find out what's going on. And 
say a little prayer. And today it was uh, MVA with, with entrapment. And there was five police officers, a helicopter and two medic units, plus fire engines and other ambulances. So it was a pretty bad scene. And, you know, people are like, well, what a coincidence, you know, if he wouldn't have been there or she wouldn't have been there, you know, they, they always try to like make up the reasoning behind things. There is no coincidence. There's a reason why this happened. There's a reason why bad, bad things happen to all of us. And you want to get mad at God. And you know what? He's got some big shoulders. He's like, bring it. Because I'm just going to stand here with my arms wide open to you when you eventually fall into them. I will be here. And that is the coolest thing to know. That for one, there's no such thing as coincidence. Everything has its meaning and its purpose. And even the bad things we have to try to remember. And that's hard. That's very, very hard. I lost my grandfather. I was eight years old to a massive heart attack. I mean, it was in the middle of church. My mom and my brother were there. I thank God my, mo my grandmother and I were not. And he left for church, kissed me on the forehead, say, I'll see you later, little girl. Or girl, I think is what he said. And, you know, I, I couldn't understand because the only other death I had really seen wasn't, oh, I wasn't even see it. It was my, I had lost my great aunt Louise and I had lost my great grandmother and all within like a very short period of time. My great grandmother died when I was four and my aunt died, great aunt died when I was like five. It was like within a year. And, um, my great grandmother was old and had emphysema and a lot of other issues. And that is what, you know, she, she was old. Um, and then my great aunt died because she had bone cancer. So, I did, I did not comprehend. I couldn't understand. It was kind of like, oh, okay. I didn't think anything of it. I mean, I was little. Um, when my grandfather died, I was eight. And I could kind of comprehend in different ways what was happening. But I couldn't get my mind the thought that he was here and now he's not. Like, I kept, I, I spent the night with my grandmother at night and I kept waiting for him to walk in the door. It's no coincidence that my brother and my mom were there. And even to this day, we might not understand it. He knows what the reason is. And one day we're all going to have that veil taken off of our heads and we're all going to go, oh, you know, I don't know why that word jumped out at me, but it did. And just, it's beautiful to know that God is there all the time through every little celebration and every little heartbreak. And it may, might be, you know, your first crush isn't reciprocating. It doesn't want to be with you other than just a friend. And you're so devastated and heartbroken. He's sitting there holding you through it. And it might be that that one guy that you've been, oh, please, Lord, let him like me, asked you out on a date. And you're like, yeah, God's there for that too. And every little thing in between. And um, it's, you know, when, when you're going through the hard times, it's really hard to remember this. And when you're going through the good times, it's so easy to remember it because, you know, thank God, you know, but you have to remember to thank God through the hard times too, because the sun always rises in the morning. Thanks for watching guys. And I will see you guys soon.